Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Ash Freeman here and today I have a beautiful, gentle, slow morning flow for you. And at the end of today's video, I'm so excited to be able to give away one of these beautiful life form mats, my favorite mats that I use for my practice, to one of you guys. I'll be explaining all about that once we've finished our flow. All you'll need for today is a nice safe and flat space for your yoga mat and as always, you know your body best. So take breaks or modify whenever you need. Let's get moving. All right, my friends, so we're going to get started today by coming into a kneeling position towards your back of your mat. If kneeling doesn't feel good in your body this morning, feel free to sit cross-legged also. And when you're ready, we're going to close down through the eyes or soften the gaze. Take one hand to your belly and the other hand to your heart. Before we start moving, we always just take a few moments to connect into the space, to connect into our center. So perhaps noticing the beautiful warmth of your palms on your body here. Perhaps even feeling the beating of your heart. And can we start to invite a few fuller, deeper, more expansive breaths down into the belly. And really feeling present in your body and connected to yourself here. And if you'd like to set an intention for our time together or for your day ahead now, feeling free to do so. Otherwise, just taking the next few moments to visualize drawing in fresh energy, prana, life force into the body every time we breathe in. And with every exhalation, just feel an anchoring down and a deepening into this present moment. Just taking another breath or two, enjoying this still and calm space that you've created for yourself this morning. And let's take all together one full breath in through the nose. And then we're going to exhale, sigh it out through the mouth and just let it all go. Let anything that's happened this week go. Let anything that you have left to do for the day go. Just being here, being here now. And gently opening your eyes. We're just going to take some small movements with our wrists to begin with. And let's just take the head from side to side here, starting to warm into the neck. Beautiful. And we'll take those wrists in the other direction. And just dropping the ear down towards the shoulder and gently stretching into the sides of the neck. So moving slowly with yourself this morning, never forcing anything or pressing anything. Take a deep breath in, arms rise up and overhead, the gaze will lift. And then just exhale, taking the hands to the heart. Beautiful, taking our hands down onto the mat now, making your way onto all fours. As we start to move through the spine, let's inhale, drop the belly, draw the heart through, gaze is forward. Taking an extra moment here to see if we can find any more stretch and opening through the front of the body. And on your next exhalation, we're gonna draw the belly away, round through the spine and take the chin to the chest. Let's pause here. I want you to think and imagine you're pressing the back of your heart up towards the sky and then starting to move with our breath. As we inhale, belly drops, heart draws through, and exhale, drawing away, rounding through the spine. And continuing to move in your own time here, knowing that all of our bodies and all of our breathing is different. So just starting to marry your breath to your movement in your own rhythm. Just starting to move and mobilize through the spine. Let's take one more deep breath in wherever you are. And as we exhale, sitting the hips back to the heels, finding child's pose, reaching your arms out long, stretching through the fingertips, forehead to the mat. As you inhale, can we maybe find another centimeter of length through the sides of the body? And then exhale again, settling through those hips. Now we're thinking of coming up onto tented fingertips. Your elbows will be lifted up off of the mat. Finding a little bit of rotation now, we're gonna take the right arm to thread underneath the left 
and then resting the head down again. Can we press into the back of that right arm to help us find leverage and a little more rotation and opening here through the upper body? Keeping those hips anchored and down towards the heels. Maybe we can reach a little further through that top arm for one more deep breath in. And then exhale, just coming back through center, reaching arms long again, elbows lifted. Let's thread the left arm underneath, taking the cheek down to the mat. Again, can we leverage by pressing into the back of the left arm to find a little more rotation here? Maybe even a little more reach through those right fingertips. And let's just stay here for one more full breath down into the belly. And then exhale, reaching both hands out long again. We're going to travel forward, rounding through the spine. Shoulders will come over the wrists. And then we're going to drop the hips down towards the mat. Peel the heart open, opening through the front of the shoulders. Now we're pressing into the fingertips here and lifting away from the mat. Just enjoying one more beautiful stretch through the front of the body for a deep breath in. And as we exhale, we're going to send the hips back, tuck the toes and find downward facing dog. So our feet will be about hip distance apart. Our hands are about as wide as our shoulders or can be a little bit wider. And just taking a moment or two to pedal out here through the heels as we start to open into the backs of the legs this morning. And then settling in center when you're ready. Take a deep breath in. Maybe even exhaling again through the mouth. Let's inhale, take our right leg high to three-legged dog. Slowly lifting the heel to the sky. And then exhale, stepping that right foot to the outside of the right hand. We're coming to lizard lunge. So the back knee will come down and we'll untuck through the toes. Now come onto your fingertips again and draw your heart forward. We want to find length through the spine and the lifting forward of the heart. Option to stay here exactly where you are or some people might like to press that front knee out and drop the hips down a little further. Others might like to bring the forearms down to the mat. So wherever you are, just feeling a beautiful stretch and opening into your hips this morning. It'll look different for all of us. There's no rules here. Let's just take one more deep breath in. And then taking the hands back down to the mat under your shoulders, tuck the back toes and find downward facing dog again. Let's just pedal out a few more times here in between before we come to the other side. Fingertips are spread, palms are grounding down and forwards into your mat. As we come to the other side, inhale, float the left leg high, heels lifting here. And then exhale, stepping our left foot to the outside of the front hand, back knee comes down. Again, those options with your hands, coming onto the fingertips, drawing through and forward with the heart. Maybe taking your hand to the front knee and pressing out. But again, moving gently with yourself this morning, never pushing anything, making sure you can always breathe through the stretch and breathe through your movement. One more deep breath in. And this time, taking the hands down to the mat, tucking your back toes, we're gonna to step the back foot forward and come to Malasana, our yogi squat. Now we bring the hands towards the heart and lift the heart up towards the thumbs. But if this feels too much for you already this morning, feel free to stay up a little bit higher as we open into the ankles and into the joints. Otherwise, can we think of lifting up through the heart and lengthening the back of the neck? Beautiful long straight spine as we press those knees out for one more deep breath in. And then exhale, taking the hands to the mat, turning your toes forward. We'll find a forward fold here. So bringing the feet back underneath the hips. If you're anything like me, the backs of those legs can be really tight in the morning. So keep your knees as bent as you need. You might want to take hold of your ankles and kind of draw yourself down or take hold of the opposite elbow. Just whatever feels good for your body. Just make it feel good for you this morning. And then releasing the hands down to the mat, releasing through the neck. As we inhale, let's find a half lift, palms slide to the shins, flat back here. 
and then exhale, take the hands back down to the ground. We're gonna step the left leg all the way to the back and come down into a low lunge, so untucking the back toes. From here, arms rise up and overhead, reach tall through the fingertips, and then soften the hips down, soften the shoulders down and away from the ears. Now we want that front knee to sit around about over your front ankle and softening through these front toes here as well so we're not clenching down. Take one more deep breath in. Can we spark, lighten up through those fingertips? And then exhale, we're gonna find a twist. So left hand comes down, right arm reaching high. Now that we're in our twist, can we think of lifting out of that bottom arm a little? So we're coming up and away from the mat and finding a little more rotation. The heart lifts up towards the sky. One more deep breath in and out. On your next inhalation, let's come back to that low lunge. So arms both come up and overhead, maybe taking the gaze up towards the ceiling this time. Little baby back bend. And then exhale, the hands come down to the mat, send your hips back and find a hamstring stretch. So this front knee can stay as bent as you need here. We're drawing the toes back towards the face and the hands will just come down onto the mat, however feels best in your body now. We're gonna find a little bit of a flow with that now, just once. So inhale, come forward, arms rise overhead, deep breath in. And exhale, opening out into your twist. And inhale, arms rise back up and overhead. As we exhale, sending the hips back into your hamstring stretch. Now from here, identify your left hand. We're gonna pivot open. The left hand comes to the back of the mat. Right leg is long as we reach out into a beautiful side stretch here. So I'm grounding down into all four corners of my right foot and reaching tall through my right fingertips. I'm gonna take one more deep full breath in here. And as I exhale, turning the heart down, I'm gonna reach the arms forward and just come to a little half puppy pose here as I melt the heart down towards the mat. So my arms are reaching forward, my hips are high over my knee. Take one more deep breath in. And then walking the hands back underneath the shoulders towards your body. From here, I'm grounding down with my hands. I'm gonna find a little step out with the left leg and I'm coming to a wide-legged forward fold position. So the toes are facing forward. You can adjust the feet closer or further apart, whatever feels good for you. On an inhale, let's come onto the fingertips, find a little half lift and then exhale, releasing here for that beautiful wide-legged forward fold stretch. Options here to walk the hands back behind you. You might wanna take hold of your opposite ankles. You can interlace the hands behind the back for more of a chest opening. Settling in somewhere that feels good for you. Again, these knees can be as bent as you need. Crown of the head reaching down toward the earth. Nothing else to do, nowhere else to be. Taking one more full breath in. And as we exhale, we're gonna turn back towards the front of the mat. Our hands will walk to frame the front foot and we're gonna step forward into our forward fold again. As we inhale, find a half lift, palms slide to shins and exhale, releasing here. This time stepping the right foot all the way back and come down into your low lunge. When you're ready, grounding through the front heel, the arms rise up and overhead, reaching tall through your fingertips. And as we exhale, sitting the hips down, softening the shoulders away from the ears. Beautiful pausing here for a moment. Gaze is forward, body is strong. Take a deep breath in, spark energy up towards the sky. And as you exhale, right hand comes down, finding your twist here. Now again, the gaze comes up and can we lift out of that bottom arm and turn the heart up towards the sky, finding any little bit more rotation here. Staying for one more deep breath in and out. 
and on your next inhale both arms rise up and overhead low lunge again as we exhale sending the hips back finding that half hanuman our forward fold here again this knee can be as bent as you need our hands can be forward closer towards us just finding a position that feels comfortable for you gently opening the back of the leg and now let's flow that once so inhale coming forward arms rising up and overhead and as we exhale opening down into our twist inhale arms rise up and overhead again and as you exhale sending those hips back drawing the toes back towards your face from here left leg stays out long identify your right hand it's going to come to the back of the mat as we reach open into our beautiful side stretch here you guys stay where you are i'm just going to turn around to face you so i'm grounding into the outer edge of my left foot my left fingertips are reaching tall for one more deep breath in and then turning the heart down towards the mat reaching my arms forward and melting the chest down towards the earth. I'm still grounding into the outer edge of that foot for one more deep breath in, and walking the hands back towards the body. From here, again, we're pressing in as we step that foot out, and then we're gonna come down into a beautiful little goddess squat, goddess pose here, taking the hands onto the thighs. And just finding a nice little rock from side to side opening into your hips and we're going to take your left shoulder forward just pressing those knees out here and coming back to center this time the right shoulder tips forward straightening through that arm inhale to center and exhale left shoulder forward inhaling to center and exhale right shoulder tips forward inhale back to center both arms rise up and overhead as we exhale sitting down finding strength in the lower body strength in the legs inhale to rise grounding through the heels reaching tall and exhale sitting low pausing here let's go for one more inhale really starting to wake up through the body now reaching tall and exhale as we sit down nice and low for three for two for one rising all the way up and turning to face towards the top of your mat taking a step forward let's meet in our mountain pose so feet together or hip distance apart taking your arms down by your sides take a deep breath in through your nose and exhale release and let it go <sighs> closing down your eyes for a moment if that feels comfortable for you and just inviting you to come back to your intention for the class, your intention for the day, to come back to your center, to come back to this space. Deep breath in through the nose and gently letting it go. Let's continue to move. So taking our weight into our right foot and drawing the left knee in towards the chest. So just finding a little bit of balance. So finding some focus for our day ahead. Can we draw the thigh in towards the belly and lift tall through the crown of the head? And then stepping that foot in front of the other. So left leg is in front. As we inhale, our arms rise up and overhead. And then taking a little side stretch, we reach over towards the right hand side here. So left side of the body, hips reaching away from the arms. Inhaling back through center. And then exhale, just releasing those legs. We'll come to the other side. So drawing right knee in towards the chest. Can we lift tall, hug the thigh in towards the belly? Finding stability and focus for our day ahead. One more deep and full breath in here. And then exhale, crossing right leg in front of left. Our arms rise up and overhead. And just finding that side stretch over towards the left now. So the hips and the arms reaching away from each other here. One more deep breath in here. And exhale, 
releasing the legs, releasing the arms down by your sides. Let's find a little flow, inhale, arms rise up and overhead. As we exhale, releasing the hands behind the back. Inhale, open through the heart and open through the chest. And exhale, bend the knees, folding forward here. So can we release any tension from the neck? Your knees can be as bent as you need. One more deep breath in. And then the hands come back to the lower back and release down to the mat. Inhaling to half lift. Exhale, letting it go, folding forward. Next inhale, we rise all the way up to standing, arm reach high again, one last time. Exhale, releasing the hands behind the back. Inhale to open through the heart. And exhale as we fold forward, releasing here, releasing the neck. Staying for one more deep breath in. And exhale, hands come to the lower back, release down to the mat. Inhaling to half lift. Exhaling to let it go. Inhale, rising all the way up. Last time, reaching high to the sky. This time as we exhale, bringing the hands back in front of the heart and pausing here. Just taking a moment to come back into your center. to enjoy this beautiful, calm space that you've cultivated this morning. And may you carry this feeling forward with you throughout your whole entire day. May we all be happy. May we all be healthy. May we all enjoy our lives. Namaste. Thank you so much again for joining me this morning, guys. And now to the fun part. If you were to go back to the very first video that I ever uploaded here on YouTube, you would see that I was on a Lifeform mat. Bought that mat for myself. I bought one for my husband and I've been recommending this brand to my clients for years. You've probably noticed from my videos that I am an incredibly sweaty person. These are the only mats that I've ever found that I don't slip on. And that has been so huge for my practice. You know, I was never able to really get into a proper shape for downward facing dog or so many other poses because my feet and my hands would just slip apart from each other. So I was genuinely so stoked and excited at the opportunity to be able to give you guys one of these mats. You can enter from anywhere in the world. All you'll have to do is follow Lifeform and myself on Instagram, as well as being a subscriber here on my channel. Then I want to hear in 20 words or less in the comments below why you love yoga and how it's changed your life. And it will be drawn seven days after the upload of this video. So good luck guys. If you're interested in getting one for yourself, Lifeform have very generously given me a 10% off code for you guys. It's ASH10. So you can use that if you were just wanting to get one yourself anyway. Have a beautiful day. Good luck. And I can't wait to hear what yoga means to you.